world. Yeah, that's what. I, I like. What kind of powerful does that feel like? I would feel amazing. Uh, for me, it's kind of an everyday scenario. Oh my God! <laughs> He's like, I'm just like walking around, or well, running look, I, around. I, I grew up with the idea that I was the fastest man in the world, or I was going to achieve it eventually. Yeah. What defines the fastest man in the world? Is it the stopwatch, the titles, or the audacity to claim it amidst controversy? Noah Lyles, the American sprinter, believes it's a combination of all three, and he's ready to prove it on the grandest stage of all, the Paris 2024 Olympics. Noah Lyles' journey to stardom is a tale of resilience, talent, and an unyielding belief in his ability. Born on July 18, 1997 in Gainesville, Florida, Lyles has sprinting in his blood. Both of his parents, Keisha Kane and Kevin Lyles, were competitive track and field athletes at Seton Hall University. Growing up, Noah and his younger brother, Josephus, were always encouraged to pursue athletics. The brothers often trained together, fostering a competitive yet supportive environment that propelled them both into professional track careers. Lyles attended T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, Virginia, where he quickly made a name for himself in the track and field world. His exceptional performances earned him the title of the 2016 Gatorade National Boys Athlete of the Year. Opting to forego a collegiate career, Lyles turned professional straight out of high school, a decision that marked the beginning of his meteoric rise in the sprinting world. Lyles burst onto the international scene with his electrifying performances on the track, culminating in a triple gold medal haul at the 2023 World Championships in Budapest. He claimed victory in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and is part of the USA's 4x100 meters relay team. This feat positioned him as one of the premier sprinters in the world, but Lyles wasn't satisfied. He had his eyes set on an even loftier goal for the Paris Olympics, winning four gold medals. It's just now everybody believes it because I have the championship to go with it. But I've always known that I'm the fastest man in the world, which is why it's so hard for everybody, you know, I'm telling people, you know, I have the fastest top end, and everybody's like, well, you're not the 100 meter champion. It's like, all right, give me a second, I'll get it. Lyles aims to transcend Usain Bolt's legendary status by not only replicating his sprint triple, but also adding the men's 4x400 meters relay to his repertoire. Lyles mused in an interview with The Times. Why four? Well, there have been multiple doubles. Not a lot, but there have been plenty. I can grab three, but Bolt has done that. I can do two Olympics in a row, but Bolt has done that too. A field event? Nope, been done. So I really have to look. What's left on the table that could put me on my Mount Rushmore? Make people say, not only was he great, but he did something that hasn't been done. This audacious goal has not been without its challenges. Lyles faced criticism from his teammates and coaches, particularly regarding his participation in the 4x400 meters relay. After helping the USA to a silver medal at the World Indoors in Glasgow, some felt he was overstepping by attempting to join the longer relay team for the Olympics. However, Lyles remains unfazed, stating, It is the relay coach's decision. I'm going to tell them the same thing. If you want to use me, I am here. If you don't, that's fine. I am not going to have hurt feelings about it. It's just now everybody believes it because I have the championship to go with it. But I've always known that I'm the fastest man in the world which is why it's so hard for everybody, you know, I'm telling people, you know, I have the fastest top end, and everybody's like, well, you're not the 100 meter champion. It's like, all right, give me a second, I'll get it. Lyle's self-assuredness extends beyond his Olympic ambitions. At a recent press conference in Paris, he boldly declared, it's me. It's always going to be me in reference to being the fastest man in the world. This statement has sparked a debate within the sprinting community as other sprinters like Jamaican Kishane Thompson and Kenya's Ferdinand Omenyala have posted faster times in 2024. Thompson clocked an impressive 9.77 seconds in the 100 meters, and Omeniala followed closely with 9.79 seconds, both quicker than Lyle's best of 9.81 seconds this year. However, Lyle's argues that the title of fastest man should be awarded based on championship victories rather than seasonal best times. He defended his claim in a video posted on YouTube, explaining, But, uh, yeah, you're right. Like, I'm an emotional person. And 
when I got to the finals and we walked into that empty stadium, I remember it being so hot and we were like, they were, it was the final announcement of like everybody's name and we're all just standing behind their blocks and this, that's like usually the moment, like in my head, I'm just like, it's showtime. Lyle's confidence often borders on what some perceive as arrogance. Yet, he views his demeanor as a necessary component of his success. A lot of people overanalyze my confidence because the line between confidence and cocky is so blurred. It's just an opinion. I always say these people need to understand the context to understand me, he explained. Lyle's journey has been anything but easy. He has faced numerous obstacles from a young age, including severe asthma, which many believe would hinder his athletic aspirations. Despite these challenges, he persevered, becoming the first male athlete in U.S. history to go professional straight out of high school. Each time I've overcome a hurdle, I've gained confidence. Each step of the way, it just goes up and up. So I can understand why some people can't grasp my vision, and I don't blame anybody for that. But please don't disprove my vision just because of my mindset, he asserted. A significant part of Lyle's recent success can be attributed to his focus on mental health. Following a disappointing bronze medal finish at the Tokyo Olympics, Lyle sought the help of three different therapists, a daily therapist, a sports therapist, and a grief therapist. This holistic approach has been instrumental in preparing him for Paris. I'm excited as a lot of people know the last Olympics didn't go to plan. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs, and even this one has had its own fair share of trials and tribulations. But finally, I can say that I'm showing up to an Olympic Games not depressed, and it feels amazing, Lyle shared. As Lyles prepares to kick off his bid for Olympic gold, the world will be watching closely. The preliminary rounds of the 100 meters begin on August 3rd, with the final set for August 4th. The 200 meters final is scheduled for August 8th, and the 4x100 meters relay final on August 10th. Whether or not he secures a place in the 4x400 meters relay remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, Lyle's determination and confidence will be on full display. Noah Lyles is not just racing against the clock or his competitors, he's racing against history. His ambition to win four gold medals at a single Olympic Games is unprecedented in modern sprinting. While his claims and confidence may spark controversy, they also underscore his unwavering belief in his abilities. As Lyles himself puts it, I'm the man and I always will be. The Paris 2024 Olympics will determine if his audacious dreams can become a reality. But regardless of the outcome, Lyles has already cemented his place in the annals of track and field with his relentless pursuit of greatness. As we continue to follow Noah Lyles' quest for Olympic glory, we encourage you to share your thoughts on his bold claims and ambitions. Do you believe Lyles can truly redefine what it means to be the fastest man in the world? How do you see his confidence impacting his performance in Paris? Your insights and opinions are valuable. Share them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the new Africa Sports for more engaging content.